welders what's up welcome to another episode of adventures in welding i am paul thanks for joining me today we're going to talk about electrodes for shielded metal arc welding also called stick welding uh, what groups they fall into how to select them amperage and polarity so we're going to start out with what lincoln electrode refers to as the out of position group these are all-purpose stick electrodes for general purpose fabrication and maintenance welding. They're capable of x-ray quality welds out of position. They're particularly good for vertical and overhead, deep penetration with maximum admixture, light slag, flat beads with distinctive ripples. Now the electrodes that fall into this group are electrodes like the Fleet Weld 5P, 5P+, here is a uh, 330 second 5P. I don't know how well, if at all, you'll be able to read that. This is a 6010 330 second electrode that should be run at 40 to 70 amps DC EP. That's direct current electrode positive. Also falling into this group is the 6011 electrode. This is a 1 8 inch 6011. This is a Fleet Weld 35. It can be run AC or DC EP and this should be run on AC between uh, 75 and 120 amps or on DC 70 to 110 amps. Your mileage may vary flavor as you wish. All right, the next group we're going to talk about is the high deposition group. And this group contains electrodes like the 7024 and the 6027. These electrodes put out the highest deposition of all electrodes in the flat horizontal and even in a slightly downhill, 15 degrees maximum position. Easy slag removal and smooth ripple free beads. Now, this is a 1 8 inch. 7024, not a 7024 1, which is a different uh, electrode. This would be called a Jet Weld 3. It can be run AC or DC positive, 115 to 175 amps on AC, 100 to 160 amps on DC. Again, flavor as you wish. The next group we're going to get into is the high speed group. Now, this operates in all positions but is most widely used downhill, horizontal, or in the flat position, and it is good for irregular or short welds that change direction or position. Now what we have here is a Fleet Weld 37 or a 6013 electrode. Again, this can be run AC or DC. In AC, you're going to run 75 to 105 amps. In DC, EP, 70 to 95 amps. And that is going to bring us to our last group, which is probably the most popular group. And if you're just starting out in welding, this is probably where you want to start. What we're talking about is the low hydrogen group, or what do we call low highs. This is a 1 8 inch um, 7018, known as a jet weld. Do, 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 do. LH73. It can be run AC or DC plus, DC EP. In AC, you're going to run 75 to 120 amps. In DC EP, 70 to 115 amps. Oh, wait, that's for 1 8 inch. For one, uh, for one, for three thirty seconds. In 1 8 you're going to run this 105 to 140 amps, DC EP 100 to 140. I personally like to run it at about 125 amps. Again, your mileage may vary. You'll notice the rust and corrosion. Uh, due to the heavy rains and flooding of my secret welding layer. Just a quick note before we get started running our beads, we will not be running any 70 or 6010 rods today because I use a inverter machine as my power source and very few inverters are any good at all at running 6010. So if you need to run rods from this group, also known as the fast fill group, you shouldn't have any trouble running a 6011. Don't ask me why, but they won't run 6010s. 
All right, we are going to start off from the out of position group, the 6011. All right, after cleaning out our bead there, there is our 6010 root pass, which looks a lot like, I'm sorry, this is a 6011 root pass, which looks a lot like the 6010, and I sound a lot like I know what the hell I'm talking about. Here we go with our 6013 downhill. Keep that rod angled slightly up. Pushed into the groove. Puddle build. All right, I flipped this sideways so I can get some light in here so you can actually see what I'm doing. But um, one of the caveats to that 6013, if you're not real careful, is it will trap slag. If I can get in there, you can see this. You can see there's some trap slag pockets in there. That's why 6013 is not a big uh, structural welding rod. Alright, we're going to move on to the high deposition rod, the 7014, and we're just going to start up a uh, three layer fillet joint on here. Alright, we are now running the 7024 high deposition rod. And you can see that she's really laying that metal down there. So we want to keep a nice, steady drag and cover up a third of that previous bead. This bead here. We're going to use the 7024 high deposition rod. A little bit of oscillation. Making sure we're tying in everything good. Nice tight shot in there. The 7024 really put the metal in. I mean, if you need to weld something up and you want to make sure you've got good reinforcement, lay in your root with a 6010 or a 6011 and cover it with a 7024. As long as you're in the flat or horizontal position, man, you are good to go. See how I'm almost dragging the flux on the base metal? That's the beauty of the 7018. Here we are with our first, well this is actually the second pass of our 3 beat 7018. And here is porn for welders. You know you did good when that slag just lifts off right by itself. You don't even have to chip it. To our friend the 7018, because it doesn't like Now we're filling in that third bead, tying in the second bead and the top plate, letting the puddle fill up to about the size of a teeth and move it along. This is a final uh, bead of our three bead fillet. Let's uh, get the slag off over. I know a shipping hammer is for scraping, but sometimes you got to do a little whacking with her too. Alright guys, that's it for this episode of Adventures in Welding. 
a little bit of information on different types of stick electrodes, what you can do with them, what you shouldn't do with them, amperages to run them, polarities. If you have any questions, I am pigmaniac at gmail.com or right down there you can uh, post a comment and I'll answer it. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you next time on Adventures in Welding.